and it's this template here and basically how I derived at um, at this was basically what I did was I did a bit of research and you can look online for you know minimalistic uh, designs minimalistic websites and they'll give you a few ideas on how to lay out your um, to your page and create a cool design I mean based on the you know the niche that that, that your, your your website would be in so for instance if it was um, you know a plumbing website you might want a site you might not want to design the site like this if it's you know if it's to do with plumbing um, you might want to have sort of like a white background something like this okay so I'll just go through um, these sort of blogs I mean just to get an idea of what what you'd want to create but for this video we're going to stick to um, to this design another thing I would like to to point out quickly is um, template monster and template monster actually you can you can buy um, um, templates for WordPress HTML based templates but what I do is I like to search through the the gallery just to get a few you know a bit of inspiration so you can you can look at let's say for instance when I select the cafe and restaurant category just click search and you'll be listed with a load of templates and layouts and this can give you an idea of um, you know how you would lay out or rearrange the template that you select from in through so through here I actually found a really cool template and I like this template because it has uh, the menu bar at the top which is also similar to the, t the template that we're going to be selecting so back into Moonfruit I'm going to click on the thumbnail and then I can give it a site name so I'm just going to call it Oriental and just give it you can you can give it an, uh, a, a good name but I'm just going to put some numbers in there just because it's a free domain and it might be available it might not be available so I'll put some numbers in there so when the site launches up if, if it doesn't um, load properly just click the refresh button on the browser and it should come up so yeah we're actually um, in the editor and we can move things around you can see here I can click on this move things around like that click undo um, if you don't have these undo buttons you can click this plus button here and just make sure that these are highlighted and then just click the X button so you should have these up here um, in Minifruit you have these options where you can um, edit delete paste duplicate um, objects on the page but I'll, I'll show you that as we go along um, the first thing we want to do is change out this background and in order to do that we'll go to uh, Photolia to find a very good uh, image since it's sort of like Oriental Arab style we just type in desert as you can see um, there's a really cool um, selection of images so um, one thing to, to keep in mind is the colors that are in the in the image you know this image here is, is really cool and um, it has some oranges c orange colors some browns um, um, whites grays it's also got some blues in it as well and I think that's perhaps what what, what I'll, I'll like to go for and I, I just want to to make you aware that when you're selecting an image Bear in mind the the colors that are that are that are in the image, and they have to sort of like match up with the color scheme that you're that you're intended to to go with. So, for instance, if your color scheme was you know had a bit of green in it, you might want to choose an image that has a bit of green. Um, if it's yellowy, then maybe that would be would be um, a good image to go with all that image there so that's that's what you got to keep in mind so we'll choose this image 
you can go ahead and download it I've already downloaded the image so what I'll do let's go here I'll remove um, the background image and how I, I did that is I clicked you can click on a design wallpaper as an icon just click remove to remove this uh, current background click choose it will give you a file manager and you can upload a new image okay so I'll go and find where I put that image 